Hey guys, Brian Brady here, inbound marketing consultant here at Blue Leads. Wanted to talk today a little bit about how to set up a Google My Business listing and some of the new features um, that they're offering. First things first, what we want to talk about is setting up a NAP. If you're going to get, get a Google My Business listing, you want to make sure that um, your NAP, name, address, and phone number is consistent across the internet. That's the critical first step to creating a strong local online presence. Without consistency on your listings, you could be fighting yourself. Um, you're going to make it harder for potential customers to find you via search, and it's going to be you're going to be penalized, SEO penalties. Google's going to penalize you um, if you don't have a unified NAP. That's just going to build trust with the search engine. It's going to eliminate the penalties and inconsistencies. Once you've established that NAP, the name, address, and phone number of your company, um, the next thing you're going to do is go to Google My Business. Head to Google, type in Google My Business. You should see that first thing pop up here. Um, click on Google My Business listing. What we're going to do is in the top right hand corner, we're going to click Start Now, green button on the top right. That's going to bring you to a map. Um, you're going to see business name, country, and you're going to see all the information on the left hand side. So the first thing you're going to do when you get to this page with the map, on the left hand side you're going to type in your company name. As you'll see in the drop down, your company name may come up. If it does, go ahead and click that. That should drop in the information. Please be sure to um, check it obviously for any errors, any kind of updates that you, that you may need. Um, if your business doesn't show up, then go ahead and fill in all the information pertinent on this page. You're going to look for your street address, um, the city, state, zip code, your main business phone number. Um, category is very important for search engine optimization to identify what category your business falls under. Um, website URL, uh, super important. And um, you know if you deliver goods in the area, um, yes or no. And then at that point, you're going to click continue, uh, moving on to the next phase. So at that point you're either going to see that your account has already been verified and claimed or it has not. Uh, at this point we're going to see that you know Loman Law Firm has been verified and has been claimed as, as a business listing. If not then at that point you'll be asked to uh, verify your business. Depending on the type of business you'll have there's four ways to go ahead and complete this information right. You're going to be, you're going to be either you could request a postcard, you can either receive a phone call or text, you can get an instant verification, or you can do a video verification. In most instances, they're going to send you a postcard. Um, in some instances, you might see a information here where your business has already been claimed. At that point, you'll want to go into um, Google My Business Help Center um, and follow that information, type in you know the actions that you need to take to kind of reclaim your business. So okay at this point once you've been verified it's time to set up your business page. Um, as you see here when you pop in you'll see a home section here. You're going to have information where you can put your company name in. Uh, you can manage your photos. You can do a virtual tour. On the top right hand corner you're going to be able to edit that information. So once you, once you pop in here you'll be able to edit the company name. You'll be able to edit your categories like we were previously. You could add multiple categories if necessary. Um, in this particular case, there's been an update to the address. You can either accept that or deny it. Google allows you to have full control over your listing. Uh, you're going to want to set up the times that you're open. Uh, very important for you to identify if you're closed on Sunday or the weekends or what you know hours of operation. You can set that up throughout. Any special hours, you're going to want to add your phone number. Again, website URL, you, this information is coming in from the previous screen, but just want to make sure that uh, the information is correct. You're also going to want to, if the, there's a separate landing page or a separate uh, website page for appointment URLs, you can do that. If you have local traffic, um, you can uh, put whether your accessibility, wheelchair accessible entrance. Again, photo is very important. Um, add as many photos as possible inside, outside. You can do a virtual tour as well. Um, some of the advanced information over on the right hand side if you had coupons or if you had um, you know, any additional labels you can do that. Some internal stuff you can do AdWords extensions to uh, better reach SEO. Um, so now that you've laid the foundation for your listing and you feel comfortable on that, the next thing is to 
start taking advantage of some of the advanced features. Google My Business is constantly changing and adding new features. Um, it can be, although it can be difficult to set these updates up, once you have them established, um, you can see some great results. Today, let's take a look at three new features we think you can implement right away on your page. And like I said, you're gonna see some really good results. On the left-hand side here, you're going to see posts. Actually, there's a little tab that lets you know that it's new, so you know it's kind of cool. Um, once you go ahead and click in there, you're going to see something that looks along the lines of blog posting, right? Um, this feature is really cool. You can take this in a number of different ways. It allows you to create content directly on the platform. It gives you some great um, space on the actual Google page. These posts will show up directly in your SERP sidebar and desktop and on the top of SERPs when they appear on mobile devices. Um, you can use this for blog posts, announcements, advertisements. Basically, you have control over the content up to 300 words. Um, as you can see here, the ability to add images and a compelling call to action, which leads them off the page, which is exciting. So once we do, we click in here to, to an example, this eight, eight examples of wrongful death cases. This is actually a blog post. Uh, we posted this six days ago. Keep in mind, these posts are going only going to be live for seven days. They do get archived, um, but they'll be you know, on your sidebar and they'll show up on mobile for seven days. So if you have an event, an announcement, advertisement, you know, or even just a blog post in this particular case, you can see the views. If there was any engagement, it gives you analytics and uh, gives you the ability to edit. So if you wanted to go ahead and either create a new or edit, edit a, um, an old one here, lets you pop in, here's the preview. As you can see, just one tip, the images do get cut off. So you'll have to experiment with that, uh, cropping images to a certain size. Um, at times they do get cut off, but you wanna just play around with that a little bit. And then like we said, so you add the images here, if you wanted to crop it, you can click on this. It allows you to crop the image. You can upload photos um, right at this section right here. Next section is going to allow you to put the content in, like we said, up to 300 words. Um, so you want to use the space wisely, especially if you're considering um, targeting local local search. Gives you that opportunity. Um, the bottom section here is going to show you how to add the buttons here. You can either um, learn more button, which is going to allow you to drop a URL. You can use reserve button. You can use a sign up, a buy now button, or a get offer. So that's gonna be up to you how you want to um, use the call to action wisely um, after you put in the content and the image. Happy with what you see here, you go ahead and hit publish. And that's going to put that back out there. So that's the first feature we wanted to show you. Second feature that we wanted to go over was direct messaging. Another cool feature for GMB they recently introduced is the ability to direct for customers to send direct messages. Um, they don't have to go to the website. They can send you a, a text uh, via message right on the right on the um, Google My Business page. So you can set a direct number that visitors can use to send you a direct message. So you can see on the left hand side here, you're going to see messages. So click in there. So at this point, you can see that we've already set this up, um, that the phone number that we've identified, you'll have to get verification on the phone number first. So you, first thing you want to do is turn messaging on. It's going to, um, the second thing is going to obviously put in the phone number. Uh, so at your business, you want to go ahead and determine, you know, somebody who's going to be available, who has, you know, responsible enough to take on this, you know, to take on this task. So, Add the phone number in there. The nice thing is you can set up a uh, an automated message, a welcome message, so they can get once they've sent you a text, um, once they've reached out to you via this phone number, you'll be able to give them a, an automated welcome message. I think it's 120 characters here, so you can kind of kind of craft what you know what the next steps are going to be. So it's a really neat feature. Um, Again, you're going to have to verify that phone number. It'll just be via text, same way as you know, setting up the verification for you know your your listing here. It's just going to send you a number. Um, once you get that, it's going to be 
all set up and it's going to give you a great feature that gives you direct access to your business via messaging. Lastly, and certainly not least, feature we wanted to talk about today was the Q&A feature. Um, it allows visitors to ask questions directly to your company before they even visit the website. A little different than messaging. Um, what they can do is access it via desktop or mobile and click on um, either on the right hand side on desktop or on mobile you'll see <clears throat> right in the GMB listing a Q&A section um, they, where they can submit their question or concern that they might have prior to either coming and visiting your business or getting to your website um, if they have a concern or a question about price if, especially if you have a product or service or if you do um, have the services at your business they can go ahead and submit that question right there that's a cool feature another unique feature of the Q&A section is it allows visitors to mark up answers similar to other platforms um, review platforms where if somebody gets the answer to the question they need they can upvote it or if the questions that are being asked can be upvoted as well um, really unique feature where they'll be able to mark up the answers that are helpful to them and that'll that should move you uh, your listing up to the top the more um, the more engagement the more community based um, things that you're doing and this section allows you this Q&A section really allows you to um, respond to visitors and will definitely improve your SEO alright guys so that's about it those are the three features we wanted to hit up today um, and hopefully this will help you set up your Google my business listings and and take advantage of those new features um, that will help you and your business get found locally.